Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm excited to tell you all about the brand new am one for u 4 chassis. You're going to notice a few differences here between the previous am one for u family of chassis as compared to the brand new am one for u 4 It still does share the same sheet metal construction, basic construction that was introduced with the am one for u 2 chassis. It still uses a Z-Bend inside plate with mounting for the Toughbox Mini gearbox that has been steadfast since the original AM1 for you. It still uses the same basic construction, sheet metal inside, outside, and end plates. It still retains the same basic drop center, six wheel drive, belt driven powertrain that you've been accustomed to for the past few years. It still uses the Toughbox Mini gearbox as the center output for the drive chassis. It also still retains support for the Andy Mark Toughbox Micro line of gearboxes, which are really handy for building Mechanum platforms. It also supports many other gearboxes, including all of the Andy Mark Evo Shifter and Evo Slim gearboxes. There are some new features of the AM1 for U4 that we're really excited to tell you about. The six inch high grip wheels that come standard in the AM1 for U4 chassis now have thicker ribs for better durability. Both the inside plate and the outside plate of the AIM-1 for 4 chassis now features a 2x2 hold pattern to make it easier to mount more churros and more structures to your robot. The star of the show of these changes is definitely the outside plate. We flipped the flanges around so now they point to the outside of the chassis. It's a lot easier now. You can get to all of the bolts that hold the outside plate on and it's a lot easier to install the corner wheels. You don't have to fight the bottom flange anymore to install all the spacers to put your wheels on. This subtle little change also makes it a lot easier to install Antimark's upgrade kits available for the M1 for 4 chassis. You don't have to fight the space that the previous flanges took up. Now all of the upgrade kits are a lot more efficient and streamlined and cheaper. We also increased the thickness of the bottom flange for increased strength of the chassis. In previous generations of the M1 for you, we included a small magnet pre-installed on the output shaft of the top box mini. Some of our customers gave us some feedback that it was difficult to install the output shaft into the R6 bearing in the Toughbox Mini housing because the magnet was attracted to the bearing. As such, we heard your feedback loud and clear and we've changed out the magnet for a steel non-magnetized dowel. This dowel is still compatible with the E4T and AMT 103 encoders that are popular in the FRC marketplace. If you would like to continue to use the magnetic encoders, you can also still purchase an output shaft that has a magnet installed. We're really excited to bring our latest generation AM1 for U4 chassis to the first marketplace. This chassis includes a lot of improvements that were suggested by our wonderful customers. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competition.